why am I doing this? It's Sunday. It's just past seven o'clock and it's absolutely chucking it down. Every car boot around my area has been closed because it's raining and there's two car boots open. One 25 miles away, which I'm at now, and as you can hear, and probably see in the windows, it's raining. I haven't been around yet. I'm not going to take my GoPro. I'm going to just take my phone because I don't want to damage my GoPro. <laughs> and I still drove here. Why? Just because of Thursday. Thursday was the same conditions, actually wasn't as bad as this, and I picked up some really good things. Am I mad? Yes. Am I stupid? Yes. Will I pick up anything? Probably not. But is that going to stop me? No. Let's go outside and get wet and see if I can find anything. There's a large Kevin the carrot over there. How much are your carrots? Carrots are five pounds each, or if you want them together, I can do eight pounds. I'll give you six pounds for both. As it's raining. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Let me just check if they're not covered in dirt and everything. No, we tried to keep them landed. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yes, I bought two big carrots. <laughs> Thing is, yeah, they're going to be a bit of a pain to pack. I have sold these before. I've sold her for 40 quid. So I'm gonna sell them together and yeah, hopefully I'll get a good bit of money. Paid six quid, can't complain to that, can you? I'm gonna leave these in the car, so you two don't do anything I wouldn't do. And let's get back out of there. How much is a Paddington? Paddington, 10 pounds. Ah. Right, you got that big box, yeah? What, what about these? 10 pounds each, they are. We've all got sell them for more than they are in the charity shops in this river. No wonder they haven't sold them. How much is a Godzilla? There's only one there. Three quid. Can you take two? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Last buy, it is not this though. There is something that could potentially be a lot of money in here. But you'll have to find out when I get home because I've had enough now. Before we go out, I did pick up a fellow stranger. He needed a lift home. Look at him. Kevin, um, he needed a lift home. Kaji, beat that. Bigger than your minion, innit? So it's the late afternoon now. Um, just finished watching the Liverpool game. Oh my God, Liverpool should have won it. They messed up, let Man United back in, and luckily, Salah came back to the rescue. Oh, uh, but we're still joint top, so Arsenal, you're not going to win this. Trust me, you're not going to win this. Um, but yeah, like you saw today, not much content on the field because it was absolutely chucking down. There was hardly no one there, but I did pick up four things. So I'm going to show you what they are. You know what three of them are, but you don't know what was in that box. So I'm going to show you what was in that box because that potentially could have been worth the whole trip. First of all, we picked up Kevin and Katie. These are from, I think it's 2017, the Greatest Showman um, Christmas special ones. So these used to sell for at least 40, 50 quid all day long. They are absolutely huge. They've got a few little dirt marks, but that's easy to get out. Um, but yeah, they, like I said, they used to get about 50 quid. They don't get that much now. You're probably looking around 30 quid each, but I'm going to sell them together. 
because I've brought them together and they are girlfriend and boyfriend or husband and wife, whatever they are. Yeah, so I'm going to probably sell these for 50, maybe 60 pound and then put on bids. The next item was this and I buy all these all day long. They sell, obviously Godzilla is out at the moment as well, so this will fly out. You're looking around 15 quid for this, I paid two quid. And then I bought this, a box, but it's not a TV. So I'm going to show you now what's inside it. And here we have, this is what was in the box. So if you don't know what this is, it's a Playmobil train set. It actually is a remote control one. I have got all the pieces except for the main part, which actually runs the trains. There's like a little link that goes in between the two trains. And that is the battery. The battery is there. Um, the charger's there. The remote control's there. These are all the bends. These are all the straights. So actually is more straights and, and more bends. This is not part of the actual set. This is a like a level crossing. Um, and then the bits are in there. And there's some, the main bit there is in the box. And then you've got some other parts of the track. Uh, and then like, I don't think it's the instruction manual. I think it's just like a leaflet. But these sell for a lot of money. They vary from 100 to 200 pound um, complete sets. But because I haven't got the one piece, I don't know whether to sell it all as one because it is like basically com complete except for the actual mechanism that goes in between the two. So you won't be able to use it unless you've got that mechanism. The person who's gonna buy this is gonna be a collector. They're not gonna buy it for their kids. It's gonna be for somebody who collects Playmobil because it is a vintage Playmobil. I think it's like early nineties. So yeah, for the whole lot of it, you're looking between 100 to 200 pounds. Probably this as it is now, Probably as a set, maybe a hundred pounds, maybe 120. But separately, I can sell them as well. For a box of bends and straights, you're looking between 20 and 30 pounds each. This has sold for 25 pounds. The two trains, just the trains, nothing else, have sold for around 25 pounds. The remote has sold for 25 pounds. This has sold for around £20, and them as well are sold, I think, around £15 to £20. If I was going to sell it separately, that would be 50 quid because that's 25 and that's 25. That would be 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 30, 140 ish, 45. So I will actually make more money selling it individually but then obviously things will sell at different times give me a comment and tell me what you would do i am like 50 50 at the moment because i know it's not complete but i can't find any ones that are not complete but yeah i'm thinking about selling it separately because then there's no confusion i don't know if this works i plugged it in and but the no light came on so I don't know if it actually works. Um, the batteries, they actually have uh, rechargeable batteries in that block and you can buy them, uh, replacement ones. That Just that little block itself is about 20 quid. So yeah, if I sell it separately, I'll probably get more money. But if I sell it as a whole package, I probably won't get as much money, but then it's all gone. Depends on what I want to put it at. Comment down below what you would do, um, either bundle it up or sell it individually. Um, but yeah, I got out in the rain today and it was actually worth it. Like I said, the Playmobil pays for itself. I mean, even the uh, Audi carrots will get me some decent money. You know, definitely going to go back to that car boot again because it just seems like it's a bit out of the way because sometimes when you go to the same car boots if in the same areas, probably about three or four, which are in my same area. And they're always the same people. You see the same tradesmen, you've seen the same uh, house clearance people. And if you go to one in the earlier week, 
you probably see him again later on in the week selling the same stuff. Going somewhere different like I did today in Stafford. They're not going to go there um, and it's free to get in as well. You don't have to pay. So save myself a quid. Tomorrow, I might be going live in the morning, maybe 9 or 10 o'clock. I've had a load of orders and I'm going to show you like a day in life video tomorrow anyway. So I'm going to be filming, but I might actually go live as well on a on my phone or on my laptop uh, and show you what I do, like, you know, behind the scenes of a video, um, showing you what I do, you know, you can all interact and watch me live, you know, you don't have to watch it all, but that'll be on the channel anyway, so you can watch it, it might be two, three hours, depends how long I want to do it for, but it would be quite interesting to show you what I do, not only in the reselling part, but what I do on YouTube, how I do a video, how many outtakes I do. If I did an outtake video of like every video I did, I probably would have about two hours of outtakes every video because you just mess up <laughs> like that. You just mess up. You just like repeat yourself or something like that. But like I said, check in around nine or 10 o'clock. If you're subscribed, ring that bell um, and then you should pop up um, and you can watch me, you know, comment down, say hello. And I'm going to show you what I've sold throughout the weekend because I've got some really, really good sales and I want to show you.